Principles and Needs for a Public Relation Program in Physical Education Introduction A strong public relations program, its relationship to the instructional program, co-curricular program and coordinated school health program and the positive benefits that students receive from physical education. Public relation is more than a one-time announcement or participation in a special activity like National Physical Education Week. Instead, it must be an ongoing program to gain support for physical educators from the various stakeholders. Community members are an especially important group in which to instill a strong commitment to the physical education program. School administrators and teachers are often influenced by the community's belief and parents as part of a community internalize many of the belief held by the community. Let others know how physical education program have changed, shared which the community that physical education no longer throw out the ball. Let parents know how physical education promotes the health, physical fitness and psychosocial growth of their children. To get started following these three steps to develop a public relation program. First, determine the masses including information on the current program and the future needs. Second, use a variety of media, print, video, audio and displays to present the masses. Third, don't give up no matter what happens or does not happen, keep delivering the masses. Now we have methods, techniques or devices in public relations. Public relation is different means of communications to influence people and methods, technique or devices are the ways of influencing the general masses. In the physical education, there is need for public relation to educate the general masses about the program through activities and thus remove the prevailing misconception. The following methods, techniques or devices are generally used. Number one, exhibitions. Number two, play days. Number three, demonstrations. Number four, rallies. Number five, radio. Number six, television. Number seven, posters. Number eight, pamphlets. And number nine, news. Now we have in details. Number one, Exhibitions. Exhibition is a technique through which certain items of information are displayed for public as well as for students. It is a medium through which knowledge is imparted to the students. The students through exhibition learn new things and understand the progress of the institution. Number two, play days. It is a day when all the children of different schools of a particular town assemble together and play. The main emphasis in a play day is play for all so that all participating children have fun and recreation along with social context. As a play day, is conducted for the full day or a part of a day such as one school may play horse, errands, the show and keep the play field ready for the activities. Several committees are met to make the program a success. They are reception committee to receive the guests and make sitting arrangement for them. Next program committee to check out the program, 
and announce the duration of the program. Next, publicity committee to make the ample publicity regarding the celebration of day through public announcements, pamphlets and also in newspapers. Ground and equipment committee to see whether the field is properly marked and the necessary equipment is ready to use during the activities or not. Next, sitting committee to plan for the sitting of the invitees and general public and refreshment committee. This committee will make arrangement of refreshment just after the completion of activities. Besides the above mentioned committees, the following other arrangements are also necessary. They are number A, batches of children is the number of children are coming to avoid confusion, split them into smaller groups under the leadership of a teacher. Generally, batches are awarded numbers so that they occupy the mark space allotted to them. Number B, rehearsal. It is better to make two or three rehearsals as students take time to assess in the new situation. Number C, public announcement system. A loudspeaker is most essential for such a huge gathering, especially that of children. Number D, facilities of water and urinals. These are the most important facilities to be arranged for a play day program. Number E, provision of sufficient funds. Since it is difficult for the host institution to spend so much, hence it is advisable that all participating schools must contribute towards the expenditure on a play day. Number 3, demonstration. Demonstration is the most valuable form of publicity of an institution. It is an opportunity through which the nature and effectiveness of the program of physical education are demonstrated to the student or to the public. A simple program for demonstration. Number A, arrival of the chip gaze. Number B, reception of the chip gaze. Number C, mass pass. Number D, flag hosting. Number E, welcome speech by the host. Number F, display of activities. Number Z, display of cultural activities. Number H, price distribution. Number I, board of tanks. And number J, national anthem. Now we have number 4 that is rallies. Rallies are the participation of students on a mass scale in an organized program and in the field of physical education. These rallies are meant for projecting the program of physical education through mass participation in a number of activities so that the interest in physical education may be created among the youth. The overall responsibility should be soldiered by a technical committee which is also work as working committee. This committee will be assisted by following committees. Number A, messing and accommodation. Number B, transport. Number C, publicity. Number D, stadium committee. Number E, ceremonial committee. Number F, Reception Committee. Number Z, Volunteer Committee. Now we have number 5 that is Radio. It is a medium of wider publicity. In country like India, which is vast, it is difficult to go and see every match personally. Hence, through broadcasting from the radio etc. like running commentary, we can know what is happening. Through this type of publicity, the number of spectators has increased. Number 6, Television. 
through television it is now possible to see the actual match which is going on at far off places. Number 7 Posters Through posters the program can be publicized. It is the way through which public is attracted towards certain programs. Number 8 Pamphlets These depict the summary of the program which is to be presented by an organization or an institution. Through pamphlets, the program is printed and circulated to the various fields. This is a way to attract many spectators for the set program. Number 9 News Through constant relays or an announcement of the certain program of physical education as a news item, people are informed and this will help the general public to know about the coming program. Now we have importance of program planning in physical education. Importance of program planning in physical education are as follows. Program planning gives physical education a right direction. It encourages students to take part in various activities of physical education. It creates a healthy atmosphere in school. By preparing the program, physical education runs smoothly throughout the year. The students get a chance to take advantage of program planning. With the help of the physical education program planning, the students' character formation takes place. Organization of physical education helps physical growth of students. Organization of physical education develops sports skill. Organization of physical education helps students to become a good citizen. Principles of Programming in Physical Education Number 1. To achieve aims of education Today's children are future of nation and pillars of nation's development. That is why we have to organize the activities and program in such a way that through it physical, mental, moral, social and skill development could be achieved. Number 2. Interest and need of the students Program of physical education should be organized in such a way that students can participate in them according to their need and interest. Number 3. Democratic techniques Democratic approach should be adopted in organizing activities of physical education in a school. Principal and other experts of physical education should be invited to develop a whole program. Number 4. Facilities While constructing a program of physical education, one must keep in his mind that what facilities are available in the school to impart the various activities of physical education. Number 5. Financial conditions Financial condition of an institution determines the shape and scope of physical education program. Finance should be intermittently available to spend on input essential for organizing activities of physical education. Number 6. Classification of the student. All types of students should get opportunity to participate in activities of physical education. Number 7. Ability of the students. Curriculum and programs of physical education should be in accordance with the capacity of the students. Curriculum and syllabus of physical education should also be prepared in accordance of physical capabilities of the students. Number 8. Progressive Program Syllabus should be dynamic and progressive in its look. Whenever a new program or syllabus is prepared, its Analysis should be done for its any drawback. 
Number 9, based on daily activities. Planning and programming of physical education should be based on daily activities of the students. It should include those activities which is normally and naturally undertaken by the students and should be supplementary or helpful in development of those natural activities. Number 10, competitions. While preparing a program for physical education, due consideration should be given for competitions. It should be competition oriented by taking part in various competition, physical, mental and psychological development of students takes place. Number 11, traditions. In certain province, particular game or spirit is played as a traditional game. It creates students interested for example, Kabadi or Koko is played in rural Maharashtra. Wrestling is a very popular game in Punjab, Haryana and various part of the country. Number 12, Professional. Planning of physical education and its activities should be done in such a way that it should enhance prestige of profession of physical education. Number 13, Guidance. Planning of physical education should be done in a manner that students could obtain high guidance from it. Number 14, Social Behavior. Organization of physical education program in an institution should be in such a way that it should enable the students to develop support with the society. Number 15, Motivation. Activities of physical education should boost up the motivational level of the student so that they can improve activities. With the above mentioned points, we are coming to the conclusion. To bring together the different activities of physical education for a specific time is called as physical education program. It is an important scheme to make the physical education program planning an integral part of the teaching method. The development of good public relations program is a process that identifies several crucial steps and elements. Butcher emphasizes that a public relation program is something that must be planned with considerable care and great amount of time and effort are necessary to achieve the desired results. Further, in education and other fields, the activities are performed at a particular fixed time by keeping some fixed goal in mind. Planning and programming of physical education should be based on daily activities of the students. It should include those activities which is normally and naturally undertaken by the students and should be supplementary or helpful in development of those natural activities.